Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to Mommy Monday. I am back. I gave birth. <laughs> I have a baby on me right now. He has finally settled down. It took a while, but we're finally getting this video done. He was born on Wednesday, the 9th of April at 12 minutes past one. I'm gonna try and show him to you guys. You wanna see? This is... Eduardo Jonathan Sacconi Jolie. I'll show you guys pictures and you can get a better look at him later. He is so so cute. He reminds us of Emilia like a hundred percent. Right now he has dark dark hair. He has a lot more hair than Emilia actually and he has dark brown eyes which may change I don't know but he was seven pounds seven ounces so he was pretty small like he wasn't the huge baby that I was so scared that I wouldn't be able to push out. He was born on the Wednesday like I said I had actually been scheduled to go in for an induction on Tuesday evening at 9 p.m. so it was quite late. By the time I went up there it was about 10 o'clock. It was actually later than we expected. My doctor actually came in to check on me and I was hooked up to a non-stress test at that stage and I was scheduled to get the prostaglandin gel which is what I had the last time to start me off and it, it didn't work last time when I was induced with the media but this time I was going to get a little bit less just because I'm a second time mom so sometimes you go faster on your second. When my doctor came in and saw me I asked him was I having a contraction like mini contraction because I had been having these like tiny tiny cramps at home but I wasn't thinking anything of them because I just thought it was all in my head. I thought this baby was like never gonna come. And so as soon as they hooked me up to the non-stress test, it was monitoring like little, you know, little jumps in the contraction line or whatever. I don't really know, I'm not like technical or anything, but the line where your contractions are, are supposed to show up was like little, little peaks in that line. So it turned out I was actually laboring myself. I had kind of gone into natural labor without even being induced. It was very, very early on though. Like these cramps were like not, not very painful at all. They were just like period cramps. So he decided to not apply the gel to keep me there overnight. And if nothing happened to break my waters the next morning. So that's exactly what happened. So next morning, sure enough, he came, broke my waters and that kind of got things started. The contraction started getting a little bit stronger, but it wasn't, it still wasn't really going at a crazy fast pace. So they just wanted to take it slow to see how far my body would progress on its own. They hooked me up to a drip and that's the oxytocin. So that's the stuff that like, it's a hormone that naturally brings on labor and contractions. So they started me off in a teeny tiny amount just because they didn't want me to go too fast because I was already naturally kind like in early labor. So it did happen really fast. I think they upped the, the dosage like maybe half an hour or an hour after and they upped it like by a teeny tiny amount and sure enough I went into like full on labor, like the contractions started getting really, really sore and painful. I had gas and air and I had requested an epidural early on because I knew that this might happen. My doctor had said that this might happen. So I got my epidural pretty early on um, and I was really thankful that I did because by the time the anesthesiologist had been called and all of that kind of stuff, and it takes him a while to get there. And you know, he could be with a, another patient for all I know, like he, he's busy so by the time he got there I was like in so much pain I think I dilated really quickly after the second like dosage on the drip I got into the labor ward at nine or half past nine that morning and he was born at one p like sometime after one like 12 minutes past 1 p.m. so that for labor like for me was very very fast because Amelia I think my waters were broken at six or seven in the morning and she didn't come till half past four. So hers was a lot, a lot longer of a labor, but this one just happened so fast. I remember being really out of it though, just because of like the epidural and the gas and air and everything like that. So, I mean, you can watch the vlog, you can watch it. I'll link that down below so you can watch exactly what happened. But um, it was an amazing experience, just like my first one, it was just, they're, they were different because, you know, this one took a lot less time. 
but both of them were just so amazing in their own way. I would do it all again, like it's worth every pain. So after I had them, I was wheeled back up to my room and after you get the epidural, you're not allowed like walk around or anything for a while. And also you have like a catheter thingy, like bag thingy, so you, you can't get up and pee. So you just have a bag. Um, you don't notice it or anything, like it's not, it's not obvious to you when you are peeing because there's a lot happening down there. I also got two little stitches, I think two stitches only. So I didn't get an episiotomy, which was the really painful part of my recovery last time. So I was so glad that I didn't have to get an episiotomy. I still did get two stitches, but they're really small and they haven't been giving me a lot of pain. Like I have been in a bit of discomfort and a bit of pain, but it's nothing like the episiotomy was last time. So hopefully this postpartum recovery will be a lot faster. With our insurance plan that I'm on, I'm actually entitled to three nights in the hospital after giving birth. Now I was induced, so one of those counted as the day before. So I was entitled to two more nights, but I decided to go home the day after just because this time around, it was different. I wanted to go back home. I wanted to be with Amelia as well. You know, I didn't want to be separated from my family for that long. And I just felt like I was doing okay with the breastfeeding. You know, the first time I was a first time mom, I didn't have a clue what I was doing. And I was really nervous about everything with the baby. But this time was just so different. Like I only have done this one and a half years ago. So it's, it's like, it's not new to me anymore, you know? Um, so I feel a lot more confident and that's that's a really comforting thing like as a second time mom I think you do feel more confident and it is really it's it's just nicer that way the breastfeeding I mean my boobs my nipples they're not as sensitive um, I do still I mean it's still painful when he latches on initially because and they're very engorged now and all that kind of stuff so um, it is still painful but it's not anywhere near as bad as it was last time I had cracked nipples and all that kind of stuff so the one thing that was painful and was different is that I got contractions like create like feeling like I was in labor again not in the throes of labor but like in kind of early labor or like early to mid labor contractions in my belly every time like after I breastfeed and then after I breastfeed I would bleed tons as well that's just my uterus like shrinking down I asked one of the midwives in there about it because I was kind of concerned. I was like, why do I feel like I'm in labor? And she said it's totally normal, but it's definitely, I did not have that with Amelia. And I remember people saying it to me, you know, does your, are you getting contractions? And I was like, no, what are you talking about? But this time around with the second time, with, with the second baby, I definitely feel it. I am wearing the belly bandit. I'm going to be doing postpartum vlogs though. Um, so I'll do more on that then. So look out for those. They'll be going up on Mondays. And um, in the meantime, say goodbye to little Eduardo, who has spat up all over himself. Check out pictures on my blog. I'll have pictures, newborn pictures of him. We're just so happy, like so over the moon. I just, I love him so much. I didn't know that with the second baby, like I was nervous. Like I was nervous that I wouldn't be able to love anybody more than Amelia, but your heart just grows. Like it's just crazy. I'm getting really emotional. What I just wanted to say is that I didn't know that I could love anybody more than Amelia, but when I know that I have him, I'm just like, I can't imagine life without him. Like, he's just so perfect, and so is she, and I love them both the same, so. Oh my god, okay, I have to stop crying. <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. So, thank you so much for watching this video. Check out pictures on my blog. I will link them down below. Thank you for all your comments and your support and everything and all your congratulations messages. I do try and read every single one of them. Every tweet, every Facebook message, everything. I, I try so hard. I know I don't reply to everybody, but I do try to read every single one and I appreciate all of them. So thank you so much for watching and um, I love you guys and I will talk to you in my next one. Bye.